All right, welcome back to another episode of Top Kanama Tricks of the Week. We're going to hop into it. First clip here is from Jack Gillian. Jack Gilligoon, the goon master himself. Caption is, quick one that's been on my mind for a while. I believe this is a... Uh, incorporating some taps as well as some some pinchy pinch stuff okay dude so sick so what was that three tap jug three late ken jug three tap straight into that goon that's crazy dude going straight into that insane let's get the slow-mo i think there's slow-mo on this next one shout out to jack man like we think of him as just like a goon player you know a pinch player but he's got the taps down too crazy look at all those loops so sick dude shout out to jack love to see it dude he's so good all right let's keep going we got blondu up next here stefan um dream trick is the caption let's see what it is right yes okay dude such a sick trick dude so trip can pull up trick trip can jug trip can trip can jug <laughs> trip turn stunt fast it's a lot of threes it's what five threes yeah i think it's five threes um yeah this one's super fun i've actually yet to land this one i've landed trip can pull up trick trip can jug trip can straight toss into a trip stunt fast but i have not landed this one yet looks super sick shout out to stefan these tricks are so satisfying dude such a clean stunt fast super super sick all right, let's keep going. We got Sriracha Dubs, the boy, the legend. Um, he's just continuing to kill it with the cloud bounces. Like, he's getting so good at these now. It's crazy. Um, and this is a, you know, I'll, let's just, let's let it play. Look at that. Triple cloud bounce. So clean, too. Like, not all of these... Like, they're not all the same rotation, I guess. Ken rotation. But they're all pretty clean, you know? They're all pretty, pretty clean. So, super, super sick. One, two, three. Jug spike. Dude, I gotta get on the cloud wave, dude. I keep telling myself that I need to, and I just never get around to it. So sick. Love to see it. Let's keep going. We got Tom up next here. 4, 2, 2, 4, 4.5. Let's see. 4 tap. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's... Oh, my gosh. Dude, imagine that to still... Also, what is this? Dude, Tom just has the craziest, craziest film spots of all time. Like, what... What freaking, like, castle... He's Yeah, he's literally at Hogwarts. What What is this castle behind him? So insane. Um, but, yeah, that that dub late dub late is so tough like i feel like nobody really does that in between taps so crazy i want to try this now actually maybe not with the 4.5 ender but at least four tap double eight double eight uh four tap jug spike um so yeah shout out to tom crazy spot crazy trick super super sick bars you hear that i'm rhyming all right we got which trick should we save for last? That's the thing with this episode. We don't have like one that is like above and beyond the best trick here, you know? We'll save Snith for last, last actually. We'll save him because uh, I got a lot to say about that clip, okay? Next up, we got Edwin at the Sweets Warehouse post Mako. Oh, dude, Edwin is so good at these. He's good at pinches now? Like what? Like, I know he's been good at just, like, traditional pinches for a while, but he's doing those, uh, are those but called butterfly pinches? I think that's what they are, yeah. So crazy. And then does he regoon after that? Butterfly pinch. Yeah, it's like a regoon after the butterfly pinch. Look at me, I'm starting to learn all the, the names for these pinch tricks. Shout out to Zaki. If Zaki didn't do that tutorial on the Gallagher channel, I wouldn't know what to be calling these, these tricks. So... Yeah, this is so sick, dude. Dude, it just makes it look so easy. So, so easy. One more time. I gotta... So, four tap into this. Four can. And then four tap into the pinch again. Yep. Into the pinch again. And then four can strike to spike. So crazy. We got Pat up next here. 
Shout out to Pat once again. This one is, dude, Pat's getting so good at, I mean, he's been good at taps, but these stunt fasts that he's doing are so sick. Six tap, trip can, trip turn, stunt fast, dude. So I think it was, nice little add-ons. Uh, so it was stunt and then trip out, trip out, trip can, six, trip can, trip, stunt fast. Three, three, six, three, three. Such nice composition using the Deadbolt X2. So shout out, shout out to Lock Studios. Um, yeah, this is sick. I don't like, I don't have much to say about it. It's just Pat doing what Pat does. It's, it is low key the most Pat Dama one trick ever. Um, this is just his, his style to a T. So yeah, let's keep going. On to the last one. We got my boy sniff dama um hitting a trick that has been i guess on his the horizon for a while for him um if you guys haven't seen he's been doing like pretty much every fish special the stall variation there is he did bird i think he did he probably did like nightingale he did handle i think he did underbird as well and now he's finishing it off maybe maybe this isn't the last one maybe he's not finishing off maybe he's gonna go to uh Maybe he's going to go to Penguin Wing next. I don't know. Uh, but he's moving on to one of the hardest ones you could do. Fish Special to Wing. And I know that from experience, okay? I landed this trick uh, back in 2023, I think. And uh, yeah, this trick is... It's insanely hard. It's... Uh, like, if you're good at wings... The thing is, like... Before I landed this trick, I was good at wings. So I thought that this trick would be relatively kind of just a breeze... And you get the the first two parts are actually not that hard but it's this last one that took me forever at least just miss it so much it's so tough dude it's such a sick trick oh my god shout out to sniff man dude look at the <laughs> you can tell you can tell how long that took just by kind of the lack of celebration sometimes when you just you chill there and you're just like you're just taking in what you just landed that's when you can tell it it took a, a really long time you know dude like i said this last part so you gotta have like for this trick you gotta have um obviously very good tama control you gotta be spinning out of each one and then fo half forward tama throw out of each one um i think the hardest part about this is just getting like after the ken flip on the last one getting into your wing grip like naturally because when i did this my wing grip was a little bit different than how i would just catch the ken after a ken flip you know so it looks like he went into it pretty effortlessly after the ken flip um but yeah let's uh let's wait let's read this caption a little bit um it's just a fish i did fish the bird on november 20th wait that was only november 20th it's only been a week what uh and it turned my mind upside down because it was never a trick i believe i or visualized myself completing planted the idea that all variations are possible he practiced this trick for over three days for a few hours and lasted under three minutes dude so sick yeah i can just relate to this so much just i well everyone can the grind you know the grind one more time here so clean too dude so so clean i wonder what setup that is nice beautiful beauty beauty shout out to snith like i said very tough trick and uh to go from landing i guess your first fish special to bird on the 20th to landing fish special to wing just eight days later is actually insane so yeah that's going to do it. Those are the top Konami tricks of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, send me your clips if you want to be in the next one, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.